Japanese language. Japanese is an East Asian language spoken by about 125 million speakers, primarily in Japan, where it is the national language. It is a member of the Japonic language family, whose relation to other language groups, particularly to Korean and the suggested Altaic language family, is hotly debated. Little is known of the language's prehistory, or when it first appeared in Japan. Chinese documents from the 3rd century recorded a few Japanese words, but substantial texts did not appear until the 8th century. During the Heian period, 794 to 1185, Chinese had a considerable influence on the vocabulary and phonology of Old Japanese. Late Middle Japanese, 1185 to 1600, saw changes in features that brought it closer to the modern language, as well the first appearance of European loan words. The standard dialect moved from the Kansai region to the Edo, modern Tokyo, region in the early modern Japanese period, early 17th century mid 19th century. Following the end in 1853 of Japan's self imposed isolation, the flow of loan words from European languages increased significantly. English loan words in particular have become frequent, and Japanese words from English roots have proliferated. Japanese is an agglutinative, more retimed language with simple phonotactics, a pure vowel system, phonemic vowel and consonant length, and a lexically significant pitch accent. Word order is normally subject-object-verb with particles marking the grammatical function of words, and sentence structure is topic-comment. Sentence final particles are used to add emotional or emphatic impact, or make questions. Nouns have no grammatical number or gender, and there are no articles. Verbs are conjugated, primarily for tense and voice, but not person. Japanese equivalents of adjectives are also conjugated. Japanese has a complex system of honorifics with verb forms and vocabulary to indicate the relative status of the speaker, the listener, and persons mentioned. Japanese has no genealogical relationship with Chinese, but it makes extensive use of Chinese characters, or kanji, hands I. In its writing system, and a large portion of its vocabulary is borrowed from Chinese. Along with kanji, the Japanese writing system primarily uses two syllabic, or moraic, scripts, hiragana, hiragana or pinjiaoming, and katakana, katakana or pinjiaoming. Latin script is used in a limited way, such as for imported acronyms, and the numeral system uses mostly Arabic numerals, alongside traditional Chinese numerals. Japanese was little studied by non-Japanese before the Japanese economic bubble of the 1980s. Since then, along with the spread of Japanese popular culture, the number of students of Japanese has reached the millions. History Prehistory A common ancestor of Japanese and Ryukyuan languages or dialects is thought to have been brought to Japan by settlers coming from either continental Asia or nearby Pacific Islands, or both, sometime in the early to mid-2nd century BC, the Yairo period, replacing the language s of the original Jomon inhabitants, including the ancestor of the modern Ainu language. Very little is known about the Japanese of this period, because writing had yet to be introduced from China, there is no direct evidence. So anything that can be discerned about this period of Japanese must be based on the reconstructions of Old Japanese. Old Japanese Old Japanese is the oldest attested stage of the Japanese language. Through the spread of Buddhism, the Chinese writing system was imported to Japan. The earliest texts found in Japan are written in classical Chinese, but they may have been meant to be read as Japanese by the Kanban method. Some of these Chinese texts show the influences of Japanese grammar, such as the word order, for example, placing the verb after the object. In these hybrid texts, Chinese characters are also occasionally used phonetically to represent Japanese particles. The earliest text, the Kojiki, dates to the early 8th century, and was written entirely in Chinese characters. The end of Old Japanese coincides with the end of the Nara period in 794. Old Japanese uses the monogana system of writing, which uses kanji for their phonetic as well as semantic values. 
based on the monogana system, Old Japanese can be reconstructed as having 88 distinct syllables. Texts written with monogami use two different kanji for each of the syllables now pronounced ki ki, hi hi, mi mi, kk, he he, mi mi, ko ko, so so, tatu, no no, mo mo, yo yo and ru ru. The kojiki has 88, but all later texts have 87. The distinction between mo one and mo two apparently was lost immediately following its composition. This set of syllables shrank to 67 in early Middle Japanese, though some were added through Chinese influence. Due to these extra syllables, it has been hypothesized that Old Japanese's vowel system was larger than that of modern Japanese, it perhaps contained up to eight vowels. According to Shinkichi Hashimoto, the extra syllables in monogana derive from differences between the vowels of the syllables in question. These differences would indicate that Old Japanese had an eight-vowel system, in contrast to the five vowels of later Japanese. The vowel system would have to have shrunk some time between these texts and the invention of the kana, hiragana and katakana, in the early 9th century. According to this view, the eight-vowel system of ancient Japanese would resemble that of the Uralic and Altaic language families. However, it is not fully certain that the alternation between syllables necessarily reflects a difference in the vowels rather than the consonants, at the moment, the only undisputed fact is that they are different syllables. Old Japanese does not have slash h slash, but rather slash f slash, preserved in modern foo, slash f w slash, which has been reconstructed to an earlier slash p slash. Monogana also has a symbol for slash j slash, which merges with slash e slash before the end of the period. Several fossilizations of old Japanese grammatical elements remain in the modern language. The genitive particle tsu, superseded by modern no, is preserved in words such as matsuj, eyelash, lit hair of the eye. Modern miiru, to be visible and kikiru, to be audible retain what may have been a frequentative suffix u, ru, kaikoyu, kaikoyeru, the attributive form, which slowly replaced the plain form starting in the late Heian period, greater than Kikiru, as all Shimo Nadan verbs in modern Japanese did. And the genitive particle ga remains an intentionally archaic speech. Early Middle Japanese Early Middle Japanese is the Japanese of the Heian period, from 794 to 1185. Early Middle Japanese sees a significant amount of Chinese influence on the language's phonology, length distinctions become phonemic for both consonants and vowels, and series of both labialized, for example quan, and palatalized, kai r, consonants are added. Intervocalic slash f slash merges with slash with by the 11th century. The end of Early Middle Japanese sees the beginning of a shift where the attributive form, Japanese rin tai k, slowly replaces the uninflected form, shashike, for those verb classes where the two were distinct. Late Middle Japanese Late Middle Japanese covers the years from 1185 to 1600, and is normally divided into two sections, roughly equivalent to the Kamakura period and the Muromaki period, respectively. The later forms of Late Middle Japanese are the first to be described by non-native sources, in this case the Jesuit and Franciscan missionaries. And thus there is better documentation of late Middle Japanese phonology than for previous forms, for instance, the art da lingo di Iapam. Among other sound changes, the sequence slash or slash merges to slash o, slash, in contrast with slash o, slash. Slash p slash is reintroduced from Chinese. And slash we slash merges with slash j slash. Some forms rather more familiar to modern Japanese speakers begin to appear, the continuative ending te begins to reduce onto the verb, for example yon for earlier yomite, the k in the final syllable of adjectives drops out, shiroi for earlier shiroki. And some forms exist where modern standard Japanese has retained the earlier form, for example hayaku greater than hayu greater than hayu, where modern Japanese just has hayaku though the alternative form is preserved in the standard greeting o hiyo su good morning. This ending is also seen in o medato congratulations, from Midetaku. Late Middle Japanese has the first loan words from European languages, 
Now common words borrowed into Japanese in this period include pan, bread and tabaco, tobacco, now cigarette, both from Portuguese. Modern Japanese Modern Japanese is considered to begin with the Edo period in 1600. Since Old Japanese, the de facto standard Japanese had been the Kansai dialect, especially that of Kyoto. However, during the Edo period, Edo, now Tokyo, developed into the largest city in Japan, and the Edo area dialect became standard Japanese. Since the end of Japan's self imposed isolation in 1853, the flow of loan words from European languages has increased significantly. The period since 1945 has seen a large number of words borrowed from English, especially relating to technology, for example, Pasukan, short for personal computer, Interneto, Internet, and Camera, Camera. Due to the large quantity of English loanwords, Modern Japanese has developed a distinction between slash TCI slash and slash T slash, and slash ZI slash and slash D slash, with the latter in each pair only found in loan words. Geographic Distribution Although Japanese is spoken almost exclusively in Japan, it has been spoken outside. Before and during World War II, when Japan occupied Korea, Taiwan, parts of China, the Philippines, and various Pacific Islands, locals in those countries learn Japanese as the language of the empire. As a result, many elderly people in these countries can still speak Japanese. Japanese emigrant communities, the largest of which are to be found in Brazil, with 1.4 million to 1.5 million Japanese immigrants and descendants, according to Brazilian IBG data, more than the 1.2 million of the United States, sometimes employ Japanese as their primary language. Approximately 12% of Hawaii residents speak Japanese, with an estimated 12.6% of the population of Japanese ancestry in 2008. Japanese emigrants can also be found in Peru, Argentina, Australia, especially in the eastern states, Canada, especially in Vancouver where 1.4% of the population has Japanese ancestry, the United States, notably California, where 1.2% of the population has Japanese ancestry, and Hawaii, and the Philippines, particularly in Davao and Laguna. Official Status Japanese has no official status, but is the de facto national language. There is a form of the language considered standard, Yujungo, Biotsunyu, meaning standard Japanese, or Kyoshigo, Gongtongyu common language. The meaning of the two terms are almost the same. Yujungo or Kyoshigo is a conception that forms the counterpart of dialect. This normative language was born after the Meiji Restoration, Mingzi Weizin, Meiji Ishin. 1868, from the language spoken in the higher class areas of Tokyo, see Yamanoti, for communicating necessity. Yujungo is taught in schools and used on television and even in official communications. It is the version of Japanese discussed in this article. Formally, standard Japanese in writing, when you, bongo. Literary language was different from colloquial language, kuyu, kogo. The two systems have different rules of grammar and some variants in vocabulary. Bongo was the main method of writing Japanese until about 1900. Since then Kogo gradually extended its influence and the two methods were both used in writing until the 1940s. Bongo still has some relevance for historians, literary scholars, and lawyers. Many Japanese laws that survived World War II are still written in Bongo, although there are ongoing efforts to modernize their language. Kogo is the dominant method of both speaking and writing Japanese today. Although Bongo grammar and vocabulary are occasionally used in modern Japanese for effect, Dialects Dozens of dialects are spoken in Japan. The profusion is due to many factors, including the length of time the archipelago has been inhabited, its mountainous island terrain, and Japan's long history of both external and internal isolation. Dialects typically differ in terms of pitch accent, inflectional morphology, vocabulary, and particle usage. Some even differ in vowel and consonant inventories although this is uncommon. 
The main distinction in Japanese accents is between Tokyo type, Dongjingshi, Tokyo Shiki, and Kyoto Osaka type, Jingbanji, Kerenshiki. Within each type are several subdivisions. Kyoto Osaka type dialects are in the central region, roughly formed by Kansai, Shikoku, and western Hokuriku regions. Dialects from peripheral regions, such as Tohoku or Kagoshima, may be unintelligible to speakers from the other parts of the country. There are some language islands in mountain villages or isolated islands such as Hashijojima Island whose dialect are descended from the eastern dialect of Old Japanese. Dialects of the Kansai region are spoken or known by many Japanese, and Osaka dialect in particular is associated with comedy, see Kansai dialect. Dialects of Tohoku and North Kanto are associated with typical farmers. The Ryukyuan languages, spoken in Okinawa and the Imami Islands, politically part of Kagoshima, are distinct enough to be considered a separate branch of the Japonic family. Not only is each language unintelligible to Japanese speakers, but most are unintelligible to those who speak other Ryukyuan languages. However, in contrast to linguists, many ordinary Japanese people tend to consider the Ryukyuan languages as dialects of Japanese. This is the result of the official language policy of the Japanese government, which has declared those languages to be dialects and prohibited their use in schools. Standard Japanese has become prevalent nationwide, including the Rokaiu Islands, due to education, mass media, and an increase of mobility within Japan, as well as economic integration. Classification Japanese is a member of the Japonic languages family, which also includes the languages spoken throughout the Ryukyu Islands. As these closely related languages are commonly treated as dialects of the same language, Japanese is often called a language isolate. According to Martina Marobitz, Japanese has been subject to more attempts to show its relation to other languages than any other language in the world. Since Japanese first gained the consideration of linguists in the late 19th century, Attempts have been made to show its genealogical relation to languages or language families such as Ainu, Korean, Chinese, tibeto burman Ural-Altaic, Altaic, Uralian, Mon-Khmer, Malayo-Polynesian and Ryukyuan. At the fringe, some linguists have suggested a link to Indo-European languages, including Greek, and to Leptul. As it stands, only the link to Ryukyuan has wide support though linguist Kurikiki Shuratari maintained that Japanese was a language isolate. Korean Hypothesis Similarities between Korean and Japanese were noted by R.I. Hokusuki in 1717, and the idea that the two might be related was first proposed in 1781 by Japanese scholar Tiakon Fuya. The idea received little attention until William George Aston proposed it again in 1879. Japanese scholar Shosaburo Kanazawa took it up in 1910, as did Shinpei Ogura in 1934. Shiro Hattori was nearly alone when he criticized these theories in 1959. Samuel Martin furthered the idea in 1966 with his lexical evidence relating Korean to Japanese, as did John Whitman with his dissertation on the subject in 1985. Despite this, definitive proof of the relation has yet to be provided. Historical linguists studying Japanese and Korean tend to accept the genealogical relation, while general linguists and historical linguists in Japan and Korea have remained skeptical. Alexander Vovin suggests that, while typologically modern Korean and Japanese share similarities that sometimes allow word-to-word -word translations, studies of the pre-modern languages show greater differences. According to Vovin, this suggests linguistic convergence rather than divergence, which he believes is amongst the evidence of the languages not having a genealogical connection. Altaic Hypothesis The proposed Altaic family of languages, which would include languages from Far Eastern Europe to Northeastern Asia, has had its supporters and detractors over its history. The most controversial aspect of the hypothesis is the proposed inclusion of Korean and Japanese, which even some proponents of Altaic have rejected. Philip Franz von Siebold suggested the connection in 1832, 
but the inclusion first attracted significant attention in the early 1970s. Roy Andrew Miller published Japanese and the other Altaic languages, and dedicated much of his later career to the subject. Sergei Starostin published a 1991 monograph which was another significant stepping stone in Japanese, Altaic research. A team of scholars made a database of Altaic etymologies available over the Internet, from which the three-volume Etymological Dictionary of the Altaic Languages was published in 2003. Scholars such as Yevhenny Palivanov and Yoshizo Itabashi, on the other hand, have proposed a hybrid origin of Japanese, in which Austronesian and Altaic elements became mixed. Skepticism over the Japanese relation to Altaic is widespread amongst both amateurs and professionals, in part because of the large number of unsuccessful attempts to genealogical relationships with Japanese and other languages. Opinions are polarized, with many strongly convinced of the Altaic relation, and others strongly convinced of the lack of one. While some sources are undecided, often strong proponents of either view will not even acknowledge the claims of the other side. Extreme Pantechism and the 1930s style ethno nationalism fascism began promoting such relationship in order to take credit for the great achievements of the Japanese people. What has followed since is largely done at the altar of this Panturanism Pantechism, largely financed by Turkey to aggrandize the Turkic achievements and share in human history by attempting to absorb those of Japan. Phonology All Japanese vowels are pure. That is, there are no diphthongs, only monophthongs. The only unusual vowel is the high back vowel slash with listen, help info, which is like slash u slash, but compressed instead of rounded. Japanese has five vowels, and vowel length is phonemic, with each having both a short and a long version. Elongated vowels are usually denoted with a line over the vowel, a macron, in ramaji, a repeated vowel character in hiragana or a tune per succeeding the vowel in katakana. Some Japanese consonants have several allophones, which may give the impression of a larger inventory of sounds. However, some of these allophones have since become phonemic. For example, in the Japanese language up to and including the first half of the 20th century, the phonemic sequence slash t slash was palatalized and realized phonetically as, approximately chi listen, help info. However, now slash t slash and slash t c i slash are distinct, as evidenced by words like t western style t, and share social status. The r of the Japanese language, technically a lateral apical post alveolar flap, is of particular interest, sounding to most English speakers to be something between an l, and a retroflexor depending on its position in a word. The g is also notable. Unless it starts a sentence. It is pronounced slash ng slash, like the ng in sing, in the Canto Prestige dialect and in other Eastern dialects. The syllabic structure and the phonotactics are very simple. The only consonant clusters allowed within a syllable consist of one of a subset of the consonants plus slash j slash. This type of cluster only occurs in onsets. However, consonant clusters across syllables are allowed as long as the two consonants are a nasal followed by a home organic consonant. Consonant length, gemination, is also phonemic. Grammar Sentence structure Japanese word order is classified as subject-object-verb. Unlike many Indo-European languages, the only strict rule of word order is that the verb must be placed at the end of a sentence, possibly followed by sentence and particles. This is because Japanese sentence elements are marked with particles that identify their grammatical functions. The basic sentence structure is topic comment. For example, Koshira Watanaka Sandisu, Koshira Haitian Sung Sandisu, Koshira, this is the topic of the sentence, indicated by the particle wa. The verb diara, disu is a contraction of its polite form diarai mesu, is a copula, commonly translated as to be, or it is though there are other verbs that can be translated as to be, though technically it holds no meaning and is used to give a sentence politeness. As a phrase, Tanaka Sandisu is the comment. This sentence literally translates to as for this person, it, is Mr. Slashmas Tanaka. Thus Japanese, like many other Asian languages, 
is often called a topic prominent language, which means it has a strong tendency to indicate the topic separately from the subject, and that the two do not always coincide. The sentence O Wahana Ga Nagai, Xiang Ha Bi Ga Changai, literally means, as for elephant, s, the, nose, s, is r, long. The topic is O elephant, and the subject is Hana nose. In Japanese, the subject or object of a sentence need not be stated if it is obvious from context. As a result of this grammatical permissiveness, there is a tendency to gravitate towards brevity. Japanese speakers tend to omit pronouns on the theory they are inferred from the previous sentence, and are therefore understood. In the context of the above example, hana ga nagai would mean nose is along, while nagai by itself would mean along. A single verb can be a complete sentence, yata, yatsuta, did. In addition, since adjectives can form the predicate in a Japanese sentence, below, a single adjective can be a complete sentence, yure masha, xian masha, jealous. While the language has some words that are typically translated as pronouns, these are not used as frequently as pronouns in some Indo-European languages, and function differently. In some cases Japanese relies on special verb forms and auxiliary verbs to indicate the direction of benefit of an action, down to indicate the out-group gives a benefit to the in-group and up to indicate the in-group gives a benefit to the out-group. Here, the in-group includes the speaker and the out-group does not, and their boundary depends on context. For example, Oshit Marata, Jawa Temaratsuta, literally, explained with a benefit from the out-group to the in-group, means explained to. Similarly, Oshit Agita, Jawiti Agita, literally, explained with a benefit from the in-group to the out-group, means explained to. Such beneficiary auxiliary verbs thus serve a function comparable to that of pronouns and prepositions in Indo-European languages to indicate the actor and the recipient of an action. Japanese pronouns also function differently from most modern Indo-European pronouns, and more like nouns, in that they can take modifiers as any other noun may. For instance, one does not say in English, but one can grammatically say essentially the same thing in Japanese. This is partly because these words evolved from regular nouns, such as kmiyu, jan lord, anatayu, anata that side, yonder, and bokuai, pu servant. This is why some linguists do not classify Japanese pronouns as pronouns, but rather as referential nouns, much like Spanish usted, contracted from view stramerked, your grace or Portuguese o sinner. Japanese personal pronouns are generally used only in situations requiring special emphasis as to who is doing what to whom. The choice of words used as pronouns is correlated with the sex of the speaker and the social situation in which they are spoken. Men and women alike in the formal situation generally refer to themselves as watashi, see private or watakushi, also see, while men in rougher or intimate conversation are much more likely to use the word or, and oneself, myself or boku. Similarly, different words such as anata, kmi, and omi, okian, more formally ukian the one before me may be used to refer to a listener depending on the listener's relative social position and the degree of familiarity between the speaker and the listener. When used in different social relationships, the same word may have positive, intimate or respectful, or negative, distant or disrespectful, connotations. Japanese often use titles of the person referred to where pronouns would be used in English. For example, when speaking to one's teacher, it is appropriate to use sensei, xian sheng, teacher, but inappropriate to use anata. This is because anata is used to refer to people of equal or lower status, and one's teacher has higher status. Inflection and conjugation Japanese nouns have no grammatical number gender or article aspect. The noun on, ben, may refer to a single book or several books. Hito, ren, can mean person, or people. And ki, mu, can be tree, or trees. Where number is important, it can be indicated by providing a quantity, often with a counter word, or, rarely, by adding a suffix, or sometimes by duplication, for example ren ren, hitobito, 
usually written with an iteration mark as ren. Words for people are usually understood as singular. Thus Tanaka-san usually means Mr. Slash Ms. Tanaka. Words that refer to people and animals can be made to indicate a group of individuals through the addition of a collective suffix, a noun suffix that indicates a group, such as taki, but this is not a true plural, the meaning is closer to the English phrase, and company. A group described as Tanaka-san taki may include people not named Tanaka. Some Japanese nouns are effectively plural, such as Hitobito people, and where were we us, while the word Tomodachi friend is considered singular, although plural in form. Verbs are conjugated to show tenses, of which there are two, past and present, or non-past, which is used for the present and the future. For verbs that represent an ongoing process, the te ra form indicates a continuous, or progressive, aspect, similar to the suffix ing in English. For others that represent a change of state, the te ra form indicates a perfect aspect. For example, kite ra means he has come, and is still here, but tabi ra means he is eating. Questions, both with an interrogative pronoun and yes-no questions, have the same structure as affirmative sentences, but with intonation rising at the end. In the formal register, the question particle car is added. For example, e desu, e desu, it is okay becomes e desu car, e desu car. Is it okay? In a more informal tone sometimes the particle no, no, is added instead to show a personal interest of the speaker, do a shite con I know. Why aren't, you, coming? Some simple queries are formed simply by mentioning the topic with an interrogative intonation to call for the hearer's attention, call one. What about, this? Oh name one. Oh minky an ha. What's your, name? Negatives are formed by inflecting the verb. For example, pano tabaru, pano shibiru. I will eat bread, or I eat bread becomes pano tabanai, pano shibinai. I will not eat bread or I do not eat bread. Plain negative forms are actually I adjectives, see below, and inflect as such, for example pano tabenakata, panoshi benakatsuta. I did not eat bread. The so-called te verb form is used for a variety of purposes, either progressive or perfect aspect, see above. Combining verbs in a temporal sequence, asago no tabi chugadi kakari while eat breakfast and leave at once, Simple commands, conditional statements and permissions, deka ket moe, may I go out, etc. The word da, plain, disu, polite, is the copula verb. It corresponds approximately to the English be, but often takes on other roles, including a marker for tense, when the verb is conjugated into its past form data, plain, dashita, polite. This comes into use because only I adjectives and verbs can carry tense in Japanese. Two additional common verbs are used to indicate existence, there is or, in some contexts, property, ara, negative nai, and ira, negative nai, for inanimate and animate things, respectively. For example, neko ga ira there's a cat, ye kange ga and I haven't got a good idea. The verb to do, sura, polite form shimesu is often used to make verbs from nouns, ryori surat to cook, benko surat to study, etc. and has been productive in creating modern slang words. Japanese also has a huge number of compound verbs to express concepts that are described in English using a verb and an adverbial particle, for example toba desu to fly out, to flee, from tobu to fly, to jump plus to su to put out, to emit. There are three types of adjective, See Japanese adjectives. Crossing wrong saikiria yoshi, or i adjectives, which have a conjugating ending i, i, such as shu i atsui to be hot which can become past, shu katsu to atsu kata it was hot, or negative, shu kun i atsu kun nai it is not hot. Note that nai is also an i adjective, which can become past, shu kun akatsu to atsu kun akata it was not hot. Shu i r i atsui hai a hot day. Crossing wrong dong saiki doshi, or na adjectives, which are followed by a form of the copula, usually na. For example, hen, strange. B. 
Bian Nahito Hen Nahito a strange person, Lian T. Siren Teshi, also called true adjectives, such as Ano that. A notion Ano Yama that mountain. Both Kiryo Yoshi and Kiyodoshi may predicate sentences. For example, both inflect, though they do not show the full range of conjugation found in true verbs. The renteshi in modern Japanese are few in number, and unlike the other words, are limited to directly modifying nouns. They never predicate sentences. Examples include ukina big, kono this, iwayuru so called, and tenshita amazing. Both kiyodoshi and kiryoyoshi form adverbs, by following with ni in the case of kiyodoshi, and by changing i to ku in the case of kiryoyoshi. The grammatical function of nouns is indicated by postpositions, also called particles. These include, for example, ga ga for the nominative case, not necessarily a subject, ni ni for the dative case. It is also used for the lative case, indicating a motion to a location. However, he ye is more commonly used for the lative case, no no for the genitive case, or nominalizing phrases, o oh, o oh, for the accusative case. Not necessarily an object, ha wa for the topic. It can coexist with the case markers listed above, and it overrides ga and, in most cases, o. Oh. Note, the subtle difference between wa and ga in Japanese cannot be derived from the English language as such, because the distinction between sentence topic and subject is not made there. While wa indicates the topic, which the rest of the sentence describes or acts upon, it carries the implication that the subject indicated by wa is not unique, or may be part of a larger group. Absence of why often means the subject is the focus of the sentence. Politeness Japanese has an extensive grammatical system to express politeness and formality. The Japanese language can express differing levels in social status. The differences in social position are determined by a variety of factors including job, age, experience, or even psychological state, for example, a person asking a favor tends to do so politely. The person in the lower position is expected to use a polite form of speech, whereas the other person might use a plainer form. Strangers will also speak to each other politely. Japanese children rarely use polite speech until they are teens, at which point they are expected to begin speaking in a more adult manner. Siuchi Soto Whereas Tainago, Dingtsuyu, polite language is commonly an inflectional system, Swan Keigo, Zan Jingyu, respectful language, and Kenjigo, Qian Rangyu, humble language, often employ many special honorific and humble alternate verbs. Ikigo becomes Ikimesu in polite form, but is replaced by Irasharu in honorific speech and Akagawa Mairu in humble speech. The difference between honorific and humble speech is particularly pronounced in the Japanese language. Humble language is used to talk about oneself or one's own group, company, family, whilst honorific language is mostly used when describing the interlocutor and their group. For example, the san suffix, Mr. Mrs., or Miss is an example of honorific language. It is not used to talk about oneself or when talking about someone from one's company to an external person, since the company is the speaker's group. When speaking directly to one's superior in one's company or when speaking with other employees within one's company about a superior, a Japanese person will use vocabulary and inflections of the honorific register to refer to the in-group superior and their speech and actions. When speaking to a person from another company, that is, a member of an outgroup, however, a Japanese person will use the plain or the humble register to refer to the speech and actions of their own in-group superiors. In short, the register used in Japanese to refer to the person, speech, or actions of any particular individual varies depending on the relationship, either in group or out group, between the speaker and listener, as well as depending on the relative status of the speaker, listener, and third person reference. Most nouns in the Japanese language may be made polite by the addition of o or go as a prefix. O is generally used for words of native Japanese origin whereas go is affixed to words of Chinese derivation. In some cases, the prefix has become a fixed part of the word, and is included even in regular speech, 
such as go and cooked rice. Meal. Such a construction often indicates deference to either the item's owner or to the object itself. For example, the word tomodachi friend would become o tomodachi when referring to the friend of someone of higher status, though mothers often use this form to refer to their children's friends. On the other hand, a polite speaker may sometimes refer to mizao water as o mizao in order to show politeness. Most Japanese people employ politeness to indicate a lack of familiarity. That is, they use polite forms for new acquaintances, but if a relationship becomes more intimate, they no longer use them. This occurs regardless of age, social class, or gender. Vocabulary The original language of Japan, or at least the original language of a certain population that was ancestral to a significant portion of the historical and present Japanese nation, was the so-called Imato Kotoba. Dahi Yanzai or infrequently Dahi Sai, that is. Yamato words, which in scholarly contexts is sometimes referred to as Wago, he you or rarely we are you, that is the wa words. In addition to words from this original language, present day Japanese includes a number of words that were either borrowed from Chinese or constructed from Chinese roots following Chinese patterns. These words, known as Kango, Han Yu, entered the language from the 5th century onwards via contact with Chinese culture. According to the Shinsen Kokugo Jitan, Zinxuan Guo Yu Dian, Japanese dictionary, Kango comprise 49.1% of the total vocabulary, Wago make up 33.8%, other foreign words or Garigo, Iliu, account for 8.8%, and the remaining 8.3% constitute hybridized words or Kunchugo, Hansungyu that draw elements from more than one language. There are also a great number of words of mimetic origin in Japanese, with Japanese having a rich collection of sound symbolism, both onomatopoeia for physical sounds, and more abstract words. A small number of words have come into Japanese from the Ainu language. Tomokai, reindeer, rako, sea otter, and shishamo, smelt, a type of fish, are well-known examples of words of Ainu origin. Words of different origins occupy different registers in Japanese. Like Latin-derived words in English, Kango words are typically perceived as somewhat formal or academic compared to equivalent Yamato words. Indeed, it is generally fair to say that an English word derived from Latin-French roots typically corresponds to a Sino-Japanese word in Japanese, whereas a simpler Anglo-Saxon word would best be translated by a Yamato equivalent. Incorporating vocabulary from European languages began with borrowings from Portuguese in the 16th century, followed by words from Dutch during Japan's long isolation of the Edo period. With the Meiji Restoration and the reopening of Japan in the 19th century, borrowing occurred from German, French, and English. Today most borrowings are from English. In the Meiji era, the Japanese also coined many neologisms using Chinese roots and morphology to translate European concepts. These are known as Wisei Kango, Japanese made Chinese words. Many of these were then imported into Chinese, Korean, and Vietnamese via their kanji in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. For example, Seiji Zhengzi, politics, and Kagaku Huizu. Chemistry are words derived from Chinese roots that were first created and used by the Japanese, and only later borrowed into Chinese and other East Asian languages. As a result, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, and Vietnamese share a large common corpus of vocabulary in the same way a large number of Greek and Latin derived words, both inherited or borrowed into European languages, or modern coinages from Greek or Latin roots, are shared among modern European languages. See classical compound. In the past few decades, Wiseyoigo, made in Japan English, has become a prominent phenomenon. Words such as one pattern, one pattern, less than one plus pattern, to be in a rut, to have a one track mind, and sukinship with sukinshit supu, less than skin plus ship, physical contact, although coined by compounding English roots, are nonsensical in most non Japanese contexts. Exceptions exist in nearby languages such as Korean however, which often use words such as skinship and rimikon, remote control, in the same way as in Japanese. 
the popularity of many Japanese cultural exports has made some native Japanese words familiar in English, including futon, haiku, judo, kamikaze, karaoke, karate, ninja, origami, rickshaw, from Renli Che Jin Rikisha, samurai, serenara, sudoku, sumo, sushi, tsunami, tycoon. See list of English words of Japanese origin for more. Writing system Literacy was introduced to Japan in the form of the Chinese writing system, by way of Baich before the 5th century. Using this language, the Japanese king Bu presented a petition to Emperor Shun of Liusong in AD 478. After the ruin of Baich, Japan invited scholars from China to learn more of the Chinese writing system. Japanese emperors gave an official rank to Chinese scholars, Sok Shodian slash Za Hongji slash Yuan Jin Qing, and spread the use of Chinese characters from the 7th century to the 8th century. At first, the Japanese wrote in classical Chinese, with Japanese names represented by characters used for their meanings and not their sounds. Later, during the 7th century AD, the Chinese sounding phoneme principle was used to write pure Japanese poetry and prose, but some Japanese words were still written with characters for their meaning and not the original Chinese sound. This is when the history of Japanese as a written language begins in its own right. By this time, the Japanese language was already very distinct from the Ryukyuan languages. An example of this mixed style is the Kojiki, which was written in AD 712. They then started to use Chinese characters to write Japanese in a style known as monogana, a syllabic script which used Chinese characters for their sounds in order to transcribe the words of Japanese speech syllable by syllable. Over time, a writing system evolved. Chinese characters, kanji, were used to write either words borrowed from Chinese, or Japanese words with the same or similar meanings. Chinese characters were also used to write grammatical elements were simplified, and eventually became two syllabic scripts, hiragana and katakana which were developed based on manogana from Baikj. However this hypothesis manogana from Baikj is denied by other scholars. Modern Japanese is written in a mixture of three main systems, kanji, characters of Chinese origin used to represent both Chinese loanwords into Japanese and a number of native Japanese morphemes, and two syllabaries, hiragana and katakana. The Latin script is also sometimes used, mostly in acronyms and other abbreviations. Arabic numerals are much more common than the kanji when used in counting, but kanji numerals are still used in compounds, such as tong, tuatsu, unification. Hiragana are used for words without kanji representation, for words no longer written in kanji, and also following kanji to show conjugational endings. Because of the way verbs and adjectives, in Japanese are conjugated, kanji alone cannot fully convey Japanese tense and mood, as kanji cannot be subject to variation when written without losing its meaning. For this reason, hiragana are suffixed to the ends of kanji to show verb and adjective conjugations. Hiragana used in this way are called okiragana. Hiragana can also be written in a superscript called furigana above or beside a kanji to show the proper reading. This is done to facilitate learning as well as to clarify particularly old or obscure, or sometimes invented, readings. Katakana, like hiragana, are a syllabary. Katakana are primarily used to write foreign words, plant and animal names, and for emphasis. For example Australia has been adapted as osuteraria, osuteraria, and supermarket has been adapted and shortened into super, super. Historically, Attempts to limit the number of kanji in use commenced in the mid-19th century, but did not become a matter of government intervention until after Japan's defeat in the Second World War. During the period of post-war occupation, and influenced by the views of some U.S. officials, various schemes including the complete abolition of kanji and exclusive use of romaji were considered. The Joyo Kanji, Common Use Kanji, originally called Toyo Kanji, scheme arose as a compromise solution. Japanese students begin to learn kanji from their first year at elementary school. A guideline created by the Japanese Ministry of Education, the list of Kyoku kanji, education kanji, a subset of Joyo kanji, 
specifies the 1006 simple characters a child is to learn by the end of sixth grade. Children continue to study another 1130 characters in junior high school, covering in total 2136 Joyo Kanji. The official list of Joyo Kanji was revised several times, but the total number of officially sanctioned characters remained largely unchanged. As for kanji for personal names, the circumstances are somewhat complicated. Joyo Kanji and Jimio Kanji, an appendix of additional characters for names, are approved for registering personal names. Names containing unapproved characters are denied registration. However, as with the list of Joyo Kanji, criteria for inclusion were often arbitrary and led to many common and popular characters being disapproved for use. Under popular pressure and following a court decision holding the exclusion of common characters unlawful, the list of Jimio Kanji was substantially extended from 92 in 1951, the year it was first decreed, to 983 in 2004. Furthermore, families whose names are not on these lists were permitted to continue using the older forms. Study by non-native speakers Many major universities throughout the world provide Japanese language courses, and a number of secondary and even primary schools worldwide offer courses in the language. This is much changed from before World War II. In 1940, only 65 Americans not of Japanese descent were able to read, write and understand their language. For native English speakers, the Japanese language is one of the hardest languages to learn, largely due to its writing system. International interest in the Japanese language dates from the 19th century but has become more prevalent following Japan's economic bubble of the 1980s and the global popularity of Japanese popular culture, such as anime and video games, since the 1990s. Near of 4 million people studied the language worldwide in 2012, more than 1 million Chinese, 872,000 Indonesian, 840,000 South Koreans studied Japanese in lower and higher educational institutions. In the last three years the number of students studying Japanese in China increased by 26.5% three years, and by 21.8% Indonesia, but dropped 12.8% in South Korea. In Japan, more than 90,000 foreign students studied at Japanese universities and Japanese language schools, including 77,000 Chinese and 15,000 South Koreans in 2003. In addition, local governments and some NPO groups provide free Japanese language classes for foreign residents, including Japanese Brazilians and foreigners married to Japanese nationals. In the United Kingdom, study of the Japanese language is supported by the British Association for Japanese Studies. In Ireland, Japanese is offered as a language in the Leaving Certificate in some schools. The Japanese government provides standardized tests to measure spoken and written comprehension of Japanese for second language learners. The most prominent is the Japanese Language Proficiency Test, JLPT, which features five levels of exams, changed from four levels in 2010, ranging from elementary, N5, to advanced, N1. The JLPT is only offered twice a year. The Japanese external trade organization JETRO organizes the business Japanese proficiency test which tests the learner's ability to understand Japanese in a business setting. The Japan Kanji Aptitude Testing Foundation, which took over the BJT from JETRO in 2009, announced in August 2010 that the test would be discontinued in 2011 due to financial pressures on the foundation. However, it has since issued a statement to the effect that the test will continue to be available as a result of support from the Japanese government. When learning Japanese in a college setting, students are usually first taught how to pronounce romaji. From that point, they are taught the two main syllabaries, with kanji usually being introduced in the second semester. Focus is usually first on polite, distal, speech which is what students would be expected to use when interacting with native speakers. Casual speech and formal speech usually follow polite speech, as well as the usage of honorifics, 